it's important that everybody looks at the watch itself mm -hmm. and make sure that everything is genuine. Uh, cette pièce, uh, moi je me rappelle d'un temps, je l'avais restaurée complètement. Mm -hmm. uh, voilà. Peut-être. Uh, Sérieux. Sérieux. <laughs> Il y avait une pièce que j'avais dû, dû refaire. Francisco, uh, t'as voilà. vraiment vu toutes les mots. <laughs> <laughs> bon. Donc, comme vous le savez, la semaine prochaine. C'est le rêve de tout horloger, d'un jour devenir euh, horloger restaurateur, parce qu'on touche à tout. On touche à l'histoire, on touche à des pièces simples, on touche une panoplie incroyable. Et ça, c'est, je crois que euh, c'est le sommet de tout horloger. At Audemars Piguet, we have a variety of workshops, each with their own specialty. We have the restoration workshop. These are the individuals who are trained to make by hand individual components in the exact style using the same techniques of the era in which the watch was produced. We receive watches here. We don't have a model to remake in the original aspect. We have archives, we have pictures, we have uh, boxes of the original spare parts. For this, it's a soul of the restoration. It's not refurbishing. It's not possible because we respect the life of the watch. Parfois, ben, on va jusqu'à euh, faire des pièces euh, entièrement à la main, donc euh, avec des outils anciens qu'il a fallu restaurer et apprendre à travailler avec. They have a big responsibility. They're really inheriting the weight of not just this company, but of the Valley des Jeux history. They have that deep, deep responsibility to keep these traditions alive. If one generation is missed, the techniques are lost. Today we are three. We have Malika too. She is a young watchmaker. One day maybe we are retired, but she <laughs> continues after us. Also at Audemars Piguet, we have the Turbion Workshop. This is a dedicated workshop where several craftsmen focus specifically on the production of the Turbion. They are hand finishing and creating these incredible mechanisms that are ultimately finding their way into Royal Oaks, offshores, more classical round interpretations. Ever since the company was founded in 1875, there's been a commitment to the production of grand complicated watches, and there's been dedicated watchmakers pursuing this specific craft. The definition of grand complication has been the same since the company was founded. Split second chronograph, minute repeater, perpetual calendar. When you look at these escapements, when you look at the carriages, when you look at the complete assembly, you're looking at the work of an individual. You're looking at the work of people who have dedicated their lives, their careers, to creating something both beautiful and precise at the same time. Interestingly, all these departments, while they work separately day to day, there's also time frequently where they have to come together, where there's a lot of discourse that's taking place. It's not uncommon for the watchmakers working on our newest tourbillon chronographs to consult with the restoration workshop. It's not uncommon for the product department to come meet with the heritage team to look at different designs and ideas. It's not uncommon for them to ask what the collector perspective is, not just on recent production watches, but also on vintage watches as well. We very rarely recreate our historical watches from the past, but the company is constantly inspired by them. Les histoires qu'on raconte et qui sont illustrées par ces montres pour ce musée exceptionnel qu'on est en train de créer soient vraiment euh, mm -hmm. à la bonne place. Mm -hmm.
apporter chacun notre expérience, notre point de vue mm -hmm. et notre analyse parce qu'on est toujours beaucoup plus intelligent en équipe 